I'm Opal Mitchell. I work for the Central Arkansas Library System and I work at the Nixon branch in Jacksonville. And this is the Crafting with Opal program that I do on Thursdays at 4 o'clock. Um, we have been doing this program at night at 7, but we um, started this month having it at 4 o'clock. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate a terracotta pot by doing a paint pour. Um, you just need some craft paint to do this. Um, any paint that's very um, runny that you can that is easy to use on this. We're actually trying to get rid of some old um, craft paint we have here at the library and I thought this would be a great way to use up some of that. Um, and if you signed up for supplies, um, some of the things that you would have gotten um, would have been a terracotta, terracotta pot and it's a six inch one. The reason why we're doing six inches is next week, um, if you want to sign up for the program um, for it, we're actually going to be planting basil in our um, terracotta pot. And that's the recommended size for basil. And um, so that way, if you decide you want to do that program next week, just call and you can sign up. Um, if you didn't already get a terracotta pot this week um, to go with this program, um, I will get more of these for next week. Um, and another thing is you would have gotten one of these clear plastic pieces right here with your um, pot. The reason why you got this is so you can participate in next week's program. We're not actually going to use that this this week, so just hang on to this. This will go along with next week's program. Um, and some other things you would have received are some toothpicks, three different containers of paint, um, and like I said, this is just craft paint. Um, some of them I actually mixed a couple of colors in a container. Um, also, you would have gotten some kind of plastic or metal container, like possibly like this one. I think I had some metal ones that were, um, not metal, but um, canisters that there was tea in it originally. It's just something that you're going to set your pot on top of. Um, while we're doing the paint pour, so you're going to be setting it upside down on the pan the, the pot. The pot's going to go on top of it. And then, all of this is actually going to sit inside of some kind of container. This is rather large. I gave you all a little bit smaller ones um, that you're going to sit everything inside of. And some of the things you would not have gotten that probably would be a good idea to have is some newspaper or something to put underneath all of this. So if you do drip paint, you won't get paint everywhere. Um, another thing we would not have supplied is um, once everything's dried after you've painted it, you can seal it with either some a clear acrylic sealer that's either a spray like this, or you could, if you have some Mod Podge at home, you could use it as a sealer on it afterwards. And what the sealer would do is kind of make it shiny, like this one I did a little mini version of what we're going to be doing today. Um, I, I found out you waste a lot of paint by pouring it on the bottom, so we're not going to pour it on the bottom like I did this one, so I found out the hard way. But um, those are some of the things you would have received. And um, toothpicks, too, um, you would have gotten some of them. Have some paper towels on hand. Um, and also Lysol wipes are actually not a bad thing to have on hand because the um, acrylic paint will actually wipe off your hands really uh, well, even when the paint's dry with some um, Clorox wipes. So those will be handy. And um, if you happen to have some gloves, some gloves would be good. I'm going to take my badge off because I don't want to get any paint on it. Um, so uh, you probably, if you're messy, um, you may want to um, protect your clothing by wearing an apron um, over it also. Um, I'm going to try really hard not to get anything on myself, so I'm not going to have one. I didn't think to grab one. So I'm going to put on my gloves first, and um, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see my workspace better. So you can see what I'm actually doing. If I can undo this. Here we go. I'm trying to think. That's not going to, is that going to work? So, okay, and you can kind of see my workspace a little bit better. Hopefully this is not going to fall forward. I want it to tighten that up. Actually, I don't think it's going to hold, is it? All right, my 
might even scoot this forward a little bit so you guys can see see a little bit better. Okay, so I've got this set up, and like I said, just some papers and newspapers underneath would be good. And I've got my different colors. There's different ways of doing this. Um, when I did my smaller version of this, I actually poured from the top, and everything I poured, I poured it all from the top. But I want to do more of a layered look instead of, if you want this type of look, you're going to pour your paint from the top, let it run, then get your next color, pour it around it, let it run, and then continue doing that. That's how you would get this effect. I'm going to do mine a little bit differently this time. I want to do more layered. So I'm going to run my paint around the bottom edge, let it run off, and then I'm going to kind of go midway, not all the way to the top, but almost to the top, and pour it around that edge. And then I'm going to come all the way to the top and pour it around. Um, another method would be just pouring from each side. If you wanted to, to pour a portion of it from this side, a portion from this side. That would give it like just colors, one color on each side of it. Mine's going to be multicolored because I've got two different blues in my blue paint. I've got black and gray. I think a couple of different grays mixed in this one. And then I've got orange and red in this one. So mine's going to be um, kind of messy. So um, I think you just think of what order you would like yours to go in, and I believe I'd like to have my gray kind of in the middle. So I'm going to do my blue first, and I filled mine up pretty high, so this is going to get paint all over my hands while I'm opening this. So I'm going to be very, very careful. And if you have bottles of paint, you can just pour it straight from your um, bottles of paint. So I'm going to throw that lid in the trash. And I'm going to start about right here and just slowly kind of pour, taking it around my container here. I may have given you more paint than what you actually need. Um, and then you can come back over the areas that don't seem to have as much paint running down it. So, just uh, let it run however much you want it to run. And as you can see, I've got some different blue in there, so um, some of it's running different colors mixed in together there. And so this is very messy. All right, that's all of my colors, so I'm going to throw that one in the trash. And I'm going to grab a paper towel to kind of wipe the excess